It's a bad news, good news scenario as you look at the forecast for tonight into tomorrow morning. Hello everyone, I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd with this on-demand storm tracker forecast update. Lunar eclipse scheduled tonight and it should reach its maximum somewhere around 2 a.m. But it begins around 12, 18 a.m. and should conclude around almost 4 a.m. in the morning. But again, the maximum uh, eclipse should be around 2 o'clock in the morning. But there's a storm moving in. That's the bad news. And we have some moisture with this. And that will bring some beneficial moisture for higher elevations around the region. But a lot of cloud cover in the forecast tonight is not the ideal weather pattern for viewing a lunar eclipse. So let's walk you through this evening's forecast again. Mostly cloudy around 10, a, uh, 10 p.m this evening and then some scattered snow showers trying to develop around 2 a.m. Again, this is when the maximum uh, peak of that eclipse will occur. A lot of cloud cover, some mountain snow showers out there. There may be some partial breaks in the clouds if we're lucky. So you might get a chance of viewing this, but it's not going to be a crystal clear night. So it's not the best uh, weather pattern for uh, a lunar eclipse viewing. But there is some snow off and on throughout the day uh, Friday. And again, that continues into Friday evening. Should dissipate by early Saturday morning. And if you're traveling to the Cat Grizz game Saturday morning, you may run into some fog, patchy fog along the Interstate 90, for example, especially in the Butte area. But it'll be uh, confined mainly to River Valley bottoms. Just enough lingering moisture that that might be a little bit of a hazard for traveling. Uh, early in the morning. Snow is likely and it could accumulate over higher elevations. We could pick up several inches, one to two, two to four inches. You get above 6,000 feet and a better opportunity around Big Sky, West Yellowstone, Cook City. But you can see there are some uh, dark blue areas out there in the Anaconda Pintler Wilderness area. The Pioneer Mountains could be picking up some snow. The Bitterroots will be picking up some snow. So most mountain ranges will see some periodic snow showers out of this storm system tonight through Saturday morning. But as you look at the general weekend pattern for Butte, we're in the 40s, teens at night, perfect weather for this time of the year. And next week, we're kind of hovering in the upper 30s and lower 40s. There will be a frontal system trying to move in on Tuesday of next week, something we'll keep an eye on. But for Bozeman, there could be a little rain or snow off and on throughout the day tomorrow. Mostly dry over the weekend, mostly dry Monday and mild. And then a bit of a temperature drop there behind a front Tuesday into Wednesday. Dillon looks mostly dry. We'll keep you hovering in that low to upper 40 range, and that's slightly above normal. And we'll be down to near normal levels by next Wednesday. But West Yellowstone, better opportunity for some snow showers. And again, accumulating snow is likely Friday. Should be mostly dry over the weekend and some up and down temperatures there next week.